This figure shows the equations used to determine the lapping length of reinforcing steel embedded in concrete. The equations to determine the design lap length can be obtained from clause 8.7.3 in Eurocode 2. The equation here is very identical to the equations used to determine the anchorage length for reinforcing steel embedded in concrete. The main differences are the set of coefficients alpha which represent the conditions of the reinforcement bar and also the minimum lap length. In terms of the set of coefficients here, alpha 4 is replaced by alpha 6 in order to determine the design lap length for the reinforcing steel embedded in concrete. The equations to determine the alpha 1, 2, 3 and 5 can be referred from table 8.2 as discussed in the previous video regarding the design anchorage length. The alpha 6 here will range between 1.0 to 1.5. It is determined based on the equation here in the functions of row 1. The row 1 represents the percentage of reinforcement bar being left within 0.65 LO from the center of the lap length. LO here represents the lapping length as represented here. Taking the centroid of the lapping length, offset by 0.65 LO to the both side of the center of LO. This will be the regions to be used to consider for the alpha 6. Let's say there are other lapping length along the members here as represented by B, C, D and E. Only bar B and bar E has the center of the lapping length fall within the considered section. Assuming the size of reinforcement bar for B, C, D and E are the same, having only two lapping length within the considered sections will represent 50% of the percentage of the lapping bar relative to the total cross-sectional area. With that, referring to table 8.3, we will know that for 50% of the percentage of lapping, alpha 6 will be equal to 1.4. If you are using this table 8.3 in Eurocode, interpolations may be applied for the percentage in between these numbers. Alternatively, you may adopt this 50% of the percentage into the equation here. The alpha 6 will be identical to the value given in the table. Now we look into the minimum lap length required for lapping. It constitutes three main parts. The biggest value of 3 is adopted. The minimum lapping has to be greater than 200 mm or greater than 15 times the bar diameter or greater than 30% of the basic anchorage length times alpha 6. Both the minimum lap length and the design lap length is derived on the basis of the basic anchorage length. The basic anchorage length can be obtained from clause 8.4.3 by using these equations. 
and the calculation step for the basic anchorage length it will be very identical to the calculations for the anchorage length as discussed in our previous videos in general we need to determine the design bar stress determine the ultimate bone stress which can be governed by the bone conditions whether it is good or poor and also the bar size and also it is affected by the design tensile strength of the concrete it is noted that while calculating alpha 3 from table 8.2 the equations for sigma AST minimum is used here and the AS now is referring to the area of one lap bar this shall not be confused with the calculations for the design anchorage length 